In this section, I am going to demonstrate how to configure an NIS server and NIS client. So here you can see there are two systems, uh, station uh, rooted station 5 and rooted station 20, station 20. So both are Red Hat system. So I am making this station 5 as NIS server and this station 20 as NIS client. To configure as an NIS server, you have to install a package. So I am installing the package YP server by using M method. Either you can use RP method or M method. So I had already configured the M, so I am using M method of installation. M install YP server. So provide yes package is installed then you have to make that uh, daemon permanently on by using the command check config yp serve on then the next step is you have to provide an nis domain name so nis the command is nis domain name i am providing the domain name is red hat for example red hat then to make this NIS domain name permanent, you have to open this file vi slash etc sysconfig network. You have to open this file and in this file, you have to provide an entry NIS domain is equal to red hat. So, this is our domain name. Then you have to start the service. Service YP serve start. Next step is you have to create the NIS database. For that you have to use this command user lib yp yp init space hyphen m. So this is initializing the NIS database. YP stands for yellow pages. So it is asking that whether is there any other NIS servers in this network. So in this case I am taking only one NIS server. So it is already in the list. You can see station5.example.com. So if there is no other servers, just press Ctrl D. So I am pressing Ctrl D then yes. So it is creating the database. Then the next step is you have to create a local user. User add with uh, user ID greater than thousand one, greater than thousand. User ID thousand one. Then uh, a separate home directory. Our home user one space the username then the next user user 2 sorry the user id should be the different ok so two users are created and providing next step is providing the password for two users user 1 I am providing the password as 1 for user 1 then for user 2 2 next you have to promote this local user as NIS user so to promote the a local user to NIS user you have to this use this command make hyphen capital C slash var slash yp so you can see that it is updating the password dot by name, password dot by UID, group dot by name, group dot by GID, net ID by name. It is updating all the NIS database according to the newly information. Then restart the service. Service YP serve restart. So next we can move to the client station twenty. So before that I will show we need the IP address of the uh, server system so if config eth0 
so you can see that the IP address is 192.168.0.5 so this is the IP address of the NIS server then I am moving to NIS client so login as root user then use this command authconfi-tui so in this by executing this command you have to select this option use nis star then next you have to provide an entry like this red hat this is our domain name red hat then the IP address is 192.168.0.5 so select ok so by this step on the client side what we are doing is we are binding this client to the NIS server by providing the information related with the NIS server so that is the domain name and the NIS server IP address ok now it is binding to the NIS server then log out log out from the system then log in as the NIS user user 1 then you have to provide the NIS password 1 you can see that it is login but the problem is the user is not getting the home directly correctly 